Morning. Hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, for those in the UK so that watched uh, ITV last night, ITV is one of our commercial stations, a new series called The Lock. And I think it was, it, well, I'm sure it was based on Loch Ness, but I don't know. Uh, I might have missed that bit. But it was beautifully filmed in Scotland. And I'm just making up a, like a, a, a view, painting distance with uh, mountains and sort of things. So I'll wet the paper all over. This is the Fabriano 130 pound. I'm using the uh, basic Cotsman watercolour palette, which has been kept moist over the weekend in a stay wet palette on a load of uh, bed of wet tissue. Okay, let's put a bit of a blush of uh, raw sienna over the whole lot. Okay, so I will put a bit of bit of blue and a bit of red. Nice and moist look. Let's just get this shadow as you come down to the horizon. Just and we're a bit darker on the top. Okay, let's put a bit of this in, in here. Okay. See what happens to that bright bright sky with a bit of bit of cloud over the top. I'm going to dry that now with the headphones. So um, take your headphones off or mute. Go. Not drying it all. I want to leave a bit of that damp for my distant mountains. This hake is starting to wear out. So let's uh, just bring that bit of clean water down here. Okay. Well, I'll try that. Hit phone off. In the case where the uh, Fabriano won't take that sort of treatment, so we just go over that again, just put another plane in there. Okay, so that's another plane we've added. Right, now I'll put in a slightly warmer, distant, A 
bit of shimmer in there. Ooh. Lots of hairs on that. I put the camera back to where it used to be before I thought I could uh, show how I lift it up with the card. I couldn't, can't do it from the right, I had to, had to do it from the left. But it wasn't universally approved, so I've gone back to where I'm comfortable. So, if those of you who don't really know how I lift out with the card, You'll have to look back over, la over previous videos, or I'll try to remember to show it. So that's a bit of a lizard in there. Not a lot, just a bit of blue still. Okay, we just let that uh, soak away. I'll get a bit of tissue. And I'll just, I just want to just, so just blot that around there because it's just, I'm oh, quite shallow. Well, I mean, I am, yes, but I mean, my board is quite shallow. It's about 30 degrees, less than 30 degrees. So let's just come in with some bit of warmy green colour. Remember that your colours will dry a lot lighter than when you put them on. So you can afford to go a little bit heavier. Okay, so we're warming up as we come to the foreground. Now we'll uh, just put a bit of bit of harder edge stuff in. Loads of colours. bit of paint scrape, bit of blue, bit of brown or burnt sienna. Just some edgy stuff here. Look. Okay, now we'll go back to this other side. We'll do some bit of shadowy stuff. I'm just having fun with the colour, really. Look how lovely and juicy this paint is. Oh dear, that's good. Got a little bit uh, thick there. Some grass, grassy banks there.
I just saw making this up from my memory, but it's a uh, holy, uh, a little bit of a ride there. Okay, clean the brush and start using a card. Now I'm sorry if you're going to struggle to see this, but uh, I'm just going to lift out some little rocks. Uh, I can't see if you can see, but I'm, I don't want to delay too much because this will go a bit too dry. So just and we'll just go in and here let's just put in a couple of rocks here this is a nice and wet okay that that will do for that uh, now I want to do some foreground so I'm going to dry this now Just fix the paint. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to do a foreground. Now the foreground that I remember, I've got a little bit of a ride there in this bit here. So I'm just going to lift out some of that. But I'm going to just roughly rough in a roughly rough in Payne's grey, burnt sienna, cabin yellow. The blue. Very little detail in this bit. So I can disguise some of this here with some really dark. The shadow. I'm using really thick paint here, so I think you're getting the idea that, that this paint, the Cotman, is not as bad as I was making out. I've been using artist quality Jackson's paint, which is lovely, but this, if it's wet enough, will be strong. Let's get the card, my card. Okay, uh, use my little uh, squirrel brush. There we are. And we'll put in just a little bit of detail. Oh, 
Right, so I need a bit of dry brush on there. I'm not going to put any... Uh... This is broken water, so you can really get away without showing reflection, other than broken reflection of the sky and the background. So I'm going to dry it off, and I'm going to try to get a dry brush on there. I've been watching uh, Al Alfonso Dunn over the weekend and practicing the uh, the drawing, cylinder drawing, the the mannequin. I'd highly recommend it if you want to do better with your your landscape figures, as I do. I've neglected drawing or that sort of drawing in favour of landscape as an easier option, I think. But even at my age, I'm facing up to the fact that I could do better. So I'm, I'm going to do loads and loads of little sketches, study his, uh, he's gone to the trouble to, to provide this, these videos and, and I'm going to have a go at them and I would highly recommend you do the same. But of course you don't have to. Right, that's, that'll do, but more blue. So just Right, that'll do. I'll put a couple of voids in. Put it in the mount and we'll have a look at it. Uh, rig up. That's I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a, a little sail in, a bit of a lizard. In. Okay, that's probably too far back there, you probably wouldn't see, I might lift that out. Get a bit closer. Okay, that'll do. Right, let's put it in a mount and we'll have a look at it. So this is just my memory of a programme on TV last night. Put that mount on it. Is that, that's alright. Okay, let's just clip that.
Well, there we are, painting from memory uh, an impression of uh, Loch Ness. I don't know if it was Loch Ness. It's, it's not accurate at all, it's just from my own head. Uh, I'd better sign it. I will sign it because I think it's not a bad picture. Uh, okay. Right, well, thanks for watching. Let's. Uh, zoom you in a bit so there's my back and a couple of little yachts for a bit of scale there as you come towards the front foreground warmer colors foreground how simple was that and the background look all those different planes so aerial perspective it's like what um, Alfonso Dunn says, if you do a figure and the proportions are right, even if the drawing is not very accurate, the proportion will make it look right. So people will be more forgiving. Um, it's this idea of the head being one eighth, eight heads. The body is, the whole body is eight, eight heads high. And the and then you you just learn the proportions by by drawing all the cylinders, like with the mannequin, you can just put it in all sorts of poses, but then you can start to use your imagination. I, I, I'd highly recommend Alfonso Dunn, A L P H O N S O. A very very accomplished artist. He he's obviously a a, a professor of art. I would think something very high up. He's had a lot of training. And he's sharing it with us. So, so thanks, Alfonso. I'll see you later. Bye bye.